Hey guys, welcome back. Over the weekends, there were, of course, some leaks from obviously Decade. For all of, uh, all of you wondering what uh, my leaks, where my leaks were from, these are obviously from Decade as he leaks them in his tournament stream on Sunday. Uh, so um, it's common knowledge from that point on. Feel free to just Google for the leaks. You can also find them, obviously, but you can also watch my videos to see me talk about them. Obviously, we do not talk only about the leaks, but also my predictions as to what will come in the next pack. As was expected, the next pack will Will probably be a bit more down low because uh, let's be honest here the february second anniversary pack was really big really impactful the snack eye stuff coming mainly basically also there are the tg cards but i to be honest i have not seen a single tg player on the ladder we have now infernoble knights which i also do not see a lot uh, which is a bit unfortunate this is a really fun deck um, as i've shown you the basic combo and then also rescue snacker is now playable which there will be a complete guide video for either tomorrow or the day after if you want to check out the top five decks to reach master one of this season uh this season yeah it's season 26 right you can check this out in the, in the right corner i've made a video about that and spoiler alert rescue ace is also on there even though it's not at its strongest point so what has been leaked for the march pack which was to be expected to be a bit of a weaker one and um it's exactly that we will get uh, that is something decayed leaked yesterday uh, the uh, red dragon support here which was released in the tcg and ocg in the form of a structure deck um they don't do it like this in master duel as we do not get structure decks from the tcg and ocg as structure decks in master duel but we get them in a pack it was so with uh, the few archetypes before uh, of course we could hope for a bit of a fire king because the fire king structure deck also came out um also came out only one or two months afterwards but we are getting uh, the uh, red dragon stuff here which will most likely be the most relevant ones will be the soul resonator the vision resonator and then the really strong card crimson gaia during your main phase you can add one a dragon arch window one card that mentions it from your deck to your graveyard uh, or graveyard to your hand so each main phase that's that's super nice it's continuous when your dragon arch fiend declares an attack you can change all monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position really insane uh, so uh, this you can obviously use to basically flip interruptions of your opponents down just by attacking if a monster on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect you can special summon what a dragon one red dragon archfiend from your graveyard you can only use each once per turn so you can see this is continuous and has three very strong effects really insane obviously making this archetype way better though let's be honest here guess we are not really seeing or will not really see a lot of this on the high tier ladder though this is able to make a hot red dragon archfiend king calamity locking your opponent out of play in the game and i also think correct me if i'm wrong here that together with the newly released crimson dragon this would also be possibly uh, possibly possible in your opponent's turn uh, which obviously is quite strong but uh, yes yeah, i already said i have a friend of mine who is playing resonators and he will be really hyped for this uh, but other than that i think this is not very impactful i'm not very hyped but maybe you are and that's also fine we have also red zone which i think is is not a, a, a bad card uh, it's a continuous trap when your opponent activates a card or effect while you control red dragon archfiend or synchro monster that mentions it you can target one card on the field destroy it you can target one of your banished dark dragon synchro monsters special summon it so once again a continuous spell trap with multiple effects so you can see that if you can basically um along the or pre-long or make the game longer it's what i want to say then you can um, gain a lot of advantage through cards like the crimson gaia or the red zone uh lingering effect that can be used each and every turn so this is what we are getting uh, for sure in the next pack but fortunately for us this is not like the biggest package here you can see these are like six cards that we are getting obviously we will get more than six new cards and now we can talk about what might uh, be in uh, the next selection pack together with the hot red dragon stuff here with the archfiend stuff I honestly think that we will get the Unchained stuff. We are now on Duelist Nexus and we uh, have also skipped Duelist Nexus to get cards from Age of Overlord and cards from Phantom Nightmare, the set that has just released in the TCG. For those of you not really uh, being aware, the moment we got the Populous and uh, the Promethean Princess, which the Promethean Princess we, we've gotten, uh, we have in the game since for, for like two months now, but the TCG just got these cards last week when we were getting them in Master Duel. So it's quite insane when it comes to the release uh, schedule, but I think this makes it more likely that we will get the cards from Duelist Nexus that should have been cards we were getting in this pack. I think they will for sure come in the next pack. And uh, it's basically a no-brainer giving us the Unchained cards here as there are only three cards missing, making this deck really, really strong. Another cool thing is that this deck is not as 
expensive as other decks might be because um, as you can see you need only one of this unchained Abom abomination you could also play and not one of them you don't need them really uh, you will need for the optimal version a three tour guide of the underworld which is an ultra rare and i'm also expecting these cards to be possibly ultra rares not all of them maybe this one is only a one of so they might make this a super rare this one is a two of while this is the three of so i think the shavara which might also get the i guess this one gets the animation if there is one but the shavara will be a two uh, um, an ultra rare i guess so you need three of these um, but all in all it will be quite a cheap deck keep in mind though this is a combo deck that also relies on uh, comboing uh, very heavily so um, this will not just be a super strong deck not as strong as it was in the tcg unfortunately in the ocg it never really was a big player i think will be the same in master duel it will be an infernoble knight kind of deck because you need to summon a lot uh, people will play it and you can definitely master one with it you can top tournaments with it but it's, it's somewhere around the tier two area i would i would say especially in comparison to all the other very very strong stuff that we have in the game at this current moment then we also might guess that we could get the rest of the rescue s cards though i think that the rescue s cards might be the ones um that we can expect the least from the remaining cards from duelist nexus um keep in mind though these are only two cards that are left but these are bangers as you can see here in tcg at three and ocg at one preventer and emergency so right now and i will talk about this in the rescue s guide we have the problem that we can't really um, very consistency access the turbulence if you're not aware turbulence the main play of this rescue s deck is to special summon your turbulence which is then able to set four rescue s spells and traps from your deck you will normally um, set the extinguish which is a monster destroy and has bonus effects all of them have bonus effects when hydrant is on the field so this guy here this destroys this negates this um, uh, adds to the hand this revives and for example if there is a hydrant on the field this can also is also a monster reborn quick play spell from your opponent's graveyard which is obviously in this current fire matter very strong as you can for example revive their promethean princess and basically steal this interruption that they have from their grave and these will make the deck way way more consistent especially the emergency while the preventer is more of a really strong board present that you can have but this is also really nice for getting resources back here this is basically a book of moon if you control another rescue ace monster with quick effect and this uh, together with the airlifter which at the moment i am playing a rescue as this that only plays plays one airlifter because the airlifter as you can see this is at one in tcg and ocg in two because this will be the main starter once emergency comes uh, comes out oh i misclicked here will be the main starter once emergency comes out but until then um the airlifter is not that impactful as it cannot search you your turbulence all of these cards can't really so these are the only ones that you can access at the moment uh, the the row here together with the reinforce which is a card not really used so this will be very impactful and then we are also missing uh, the salamand grade cards which were not from duelist nexus the uh, set that we are currently on um but came in a set after that um this is also something i'm expecting because this is a fan favorite and it might or it, it's pretty easy to, to slot them in and and make the fans happy and make um, maybe a pack that people are not that excited for because of Red Dragon Archfiend, a uh, pack that people are more excited for. The one thing that might uh, tell us that this is not coming though is, as you can see, there are a lot of cards missing here. Um, there are in fact nine cards and normally if we have... Um, if we have like a big package like the hot red dragon archfiend package with six cards um which like six or seven cards uh, this is normally a big package here in master rule coming to a pack a selection pack um uh, it's very rare that we get two archetypes with very very big packages um even though it was the case this time around with the infernoble knight stuff uh, the tg stuff and the snake eye stuff so remains to be seen here but these are both quite big packages so I'm not quite sure if we are getting them by the way if we are getting this element gate race Raging Phoenix. Um, obviously, we will get all of them together, I guess, but the Raging Phoenix enables the Snake Eye and later the Fire King Snake Eye decks to have a really insane one card kill combo with your Snake Eye Ash and the World Sea Dragon Zealantis. You might have already seen this combo because it's already playable, not uh, at the strongest point though, because we are missing the Raging Phoenix, but it is still a one card kill combo. The Raging Phoenix, though, will make this even a better, even more consistent. So these are my predictions for cards that we, or cards that we might, or archetypes that we might get support. 
for in the upcoming pack. Um, in addition, obviously, to the fact that we have the official leaks that we will get the Red Dragon stuff, Archfiend stuff here, uh, which I personally not really hyped for, but uh, I'm guessing we will get at least some interesting cards, either an Unchained, the Rescue as remaining cards, or uh, maybe the Salamangrate stuff. Um, though for me personally, Salamangrate would be the least um, interesting. I am expecting a kind of a low impact March selection pack, but these were obviously only the first leaks that Decade made. Um, or that we have gotten um, from any source, obviously. But uh, I will cover them or once they come out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, what deck are you excited for? Are you a big enjoyer of the Red Dragon archetype here? Have you waited for the cards? We might get the Fire King cards also, though I don't think that way they will give us cards from two structure decks. But remains to be seen. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Um, if you like my kind of videos, please consider subscribing, hitting the thumb up and the notification bell. This helps me out a lot. And we will see each other in the next one.